Let's move on to the next topic. What's the next topic today? Next up is from Tony Cooper, long-term fan here. With Alita not breaking bank, I had assumed the legendary Gundam movie was just a pipeline destined to never leave in development status. <laughs> However, news today says Saga, Why the Last Man, and The Runaways scribe Brian K. Vaughn is writing it. Should we be excited yet? I think we should be excited for this thing, as a matter of fact. I mean, first of all, look, they've been talking about trying to get a Gundam and, you know, we also had Macross and like lots of other of these giant mech robot properties have been talked about getting going. They said a while ago that Gundam was going to get rolling, that Legendary would be involved. And my kind of feeling on that was happy to hear it, but also very, very guarded because we've heard this sort of thing before. We've heard this kind of thing before from these things. And I'm just getting a text from Robert Meyer Burnett. And it says he can't uh, get back into his session. So hold on a second. Let me see if I can get Robert back in here. Um, uh, let's see. I'm just going to tell him to try again. Sorry about this, guys. Oh, the joys of doing things live when you don't have a crew. Um, <laughs> anyway, I, I got a little bit... I felt guarded about it. Again, because we've, we've seen this before. We've seen this thing before. We've seen like giant mech robot things. I mean, I remember, I think it was Elijah Wood. It was either Elijah Wood or Toby Maguire. You know, I think it was Toby Maguire who talked about, this was like 10, 11, 12, 13 years ago that Toby Maguire came, came out that he was going to work with Warner Brothers to make a Macross movie. And everybody got all excited about it. And then nothing ever happened. And it went away. And so when I started hearing things about Gundam, I also started thinking, oh, uh, well, I mean, here we go. This thing's not going to happen. It's another kind of property that they're saying, oh, we're going to do this and we're going to do that. And then it never actually comes about and it never actually works out. Now, them hiring a guy like Brian K. Vaughn is huge. You're talking about the guy who has done some of the most celebrated current or more modern, if you will, graphic novels in the world. I mean, he's written everything from classic comic books, from X-Men to Batman to, to you name it, he's worked on it and he's done big stuff. But then his uh, like more original stuff, Why the Last Man, Runaways, which is amazing, um, Saga, which some people consider be maybe some of the best graphic novel stories ever done. Like Saga's incredible. Uh, to Pride. and uh, Anyway, there's just a whole bunch of stuff that he's worked on and developed. He's extremely, supremely talented. And he's going to be acting as an executive producer, by the way, on the upcoming Why the Lax Man. I believe that's going to be for FX. So he's going to be working on that as well. He's considered a, an executive consultant on the Runaways TV series. Anyway, to go out and get a guy like this to work on a Gundam, I, I think is just fantastic. And I think it's exciting. And I'm just really stoked to see what they actually end up doing with this. 